Josh Verkloff defeated Brandon Gray by 15 points in their last race two years ago. But a new map has given the Democratic challenger hope for an upset. North Carolina's ever-changing voting districts have transformed this race. Faircloth, who has held this seat for a dozen years, suddenly finds himself in a competitive race. It was Republican plus 11 then, and now we're the second most competitive um, statehouse race. It's D plus one, and the last couple of polls we've seen, it's been labeled a toss-up, so we're super excited. You've been down there for 12 years, and your cohorts rewrote the district and made it tougher for you. Well, when, the first, when we first drew the maps, it stayed as it was, which was fine with me. It was, I thought it was a beautiful map. <laughs> Why do you want to go back? What, what is driving you to run again? Well, I, first of all, I enjoy doing it. Uh, I, my career has been in serving people in, in different ways, most of it having to do with criminal justice. So I, I enjoy being involved. One difference between these two candidates is age. Faircloth is over 80, Gray is under 30. Your opponent has pointed out the age difference between the two of you. And I'm wondering, is age a significant factor in this race? It is, it is. Um, I'm probably the oldest one in the house now. If not, there's one other gentleman. And uh, this will be my last term that I'll run for. I'm still capable of doing the job or I wouldn't go down there. Um, I'm also armed with a lot more experience and interaction than my opponent is. So uh, I, given the, the two of us are running, I think I need to be there. What is it that you bring to the table that would be different from your opponent? My opponent's a career politician. He's been there 30 years in politics, just bringing in fresh ideas. I think a lot of folks go to Raleigh and then they forget about their constituents. So what is it that he has forgotten? He, in my opinion, he's forgotten us. Um, you email your representative, you expect to email back. Have you written to him or emailed him and he hasn't responded? Yes, and honestly, that's what I've heard from a lot of people in our community is they reach out and don't get a reply back. What would you say is the biggest difference between yourself and your opponent in this race? Well, I've got quite a bit of experience. Uh, I've been uh, involved in serving type jobs all my life, mostly law enforcement. I don't really know the young man. Uh, but he's certainly welcome to run. That's the thing, good thing about our system. If a person wants to get there, then they have the right to try. Faircloth and Gray have different views on the future of abortion in North Carolina. I definitely support um, keeping abortion legal here. Uh, it's a very tough decision, and if someone wants to start a family or not start a family, that's something that they should have the choice to do. I don't think that the government should come in and tell them what to do. I prefer that a uh, woman have her own choice. Uh, but I also uh, wish and hope that we can have some way of, uh, it bothers me that a, uh, a child being developed in, a, in the body of a woman is not a child until a certain point in, in, in the minds, I think, of most medical people. Right now it's at 20 weeks in North Carolina. Would you support shortening that, lengthening that? Whatever, whatever the, the uh, medical folks say is a, a uh, what we can call a living, breathing human being. And, and at that point, I think, is where it comes. Prior to that, it's no difference than a, uh, uh, as being part of your body than your finger is. But, uh, when you get to that point. Do you support the, the medical or the recreational or both? I support both. Um, my opponent recently voted against medical marijuana. Um, so that's another difference. Between. So make the argument, why should we be legalizing either medical or recreational? I support medical marijuana if it's uh, in fact medical marijuana and not uh, trying to work a way in where there'll be a lot of social use that comes out of it. Faircloth versus Gray in Guilford County's 62nd House District, a newly drawn map. Bill O'Neill, WXII 12 News.